Hi, this is Ian Powell in the Blackwater Lodge back again. Um, we're, as I said before, in Southern Ireland and we're on the Cork Blackwater, uh, one of the biggest salmon fisheries in the country. Uh, we get a lot of fish coming through the door. Uh, in the previous video I showed you some of the tricks that we use in order to uh, cut up the fish. Uh, and in that one I kept uh, a couple of fillets aside which I intend to make gravid lax from which to me is absolutely the nicest way to eat salmon it's a Scandinavian recipe basically which consists of salt sugar cracked white peppercorns and dill which you use to cure the fish and in the olden days in Scandinavia what they used to do was to uh, put the fish together with the mix bury it in the ground and that would preserve it and then they could take, take out the salmon when they wanted. Um, over the years I used the recipe which I actually learned how to do in Scandinavia uh, which consists of producing a mix which is salt and brown sugar, very important to use brown sugar for something like this. Uh, the mix that we use for gravid lax because it stays 48 hours on the fish is rather more sugar than salt which means in this mix I use 45% by weight of salt and 55% by weight of sugar. Okay so the salt and sugar mix I have here uh, the other two ingredients are white peppercorns and what we normally do with that in order to get the best flavour we take some whole white peppercorns and we put them into a mortar and pestle and we then crack them at the time so that we get the best of the flavour coming out in it because you can't beat peppercorns if they're just being crushed and cracked um, the other essential ingredient and the most important ingredient by far for the recipe is dill. Uh, now it's not always possible to have fresh dill which is the perfect thing to use uh, so always a good standby for something like that is to have dill weed so I have dill weed here which is dried um, not the perfect thing to use uh, but if you don't have fresh dill you don't have any choice so that would be what I would use quite a lot of the time because at this time of year it's not really practical to have dill growing in Ireland because we've only a week or two ago had the last of the frosts. So there's our peppercorns all crushed so they're ready to go in. In the classic uh, recipe in Scandinavia what they always did was to take the sugar and salt mix, put the peppercorns with it, chop up fresh dill and mix it all together uh, and then put it on, as a sandwich onto the one fillet and then put the other fillet on the top. Um, over the years I found that it's actually probably a better idea and I find it gives me something with much more flavour that I put the things on uh, kind of separately. So what I do is I coat the sides of the fish uh, with the dill. Uh, then I sprinkle the peppercorns on, which enables me to get uh, a nice even coating of peppercorns. And then afterwards I put the salt and sugar mix on. And I think you actually get a much better product because it means that the things which are imparting the flavour, namely the dill and the peppercorns, are in direct contact with the sides of the fish and then the mix is on top and that then cures the fish afterwards. So I do it as a stepwise process uh, and put the dill on, then put the peppercorns on, then make the sandwich with the mix and I shall show you how I do it now.
So, the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to sprinkle a nice even coating of the dry dill all over fish. Like so. Quite a thick coating. If you have fresh dill, always use that in preference to the dried stuff because you're going to get a better flavor. Uh, but as I say, sometimes it's not always available. Uh, this you can take off the shelf and use it any time. So it is actually very handy and it still gives you an extremely good product, which I think is probably the nicest way that you could possibly eat a salmon. Right, so now we have the crushed white peppercorns here, so what we do is we spread them over as evenly as we can and it actually makes it nice and easy when you have the dill there because it tends to hold them in place. So it's actually very handy. So we spread that neatly over like that. So that's our coating and then just in order to make it nice and easy to handle what I'm then going to do is put a bit of paper towel over the top and just press it so that it will then hold everything in place on the sides like that so it makes it easier when we're making our sandwich of the fillets and the curing mix. So that's the first part and you can see that when you do it like this you've got direct contact with the dill and with the peppercorns which definitely helps to improve in terms of the flavour. So then we need a container that we can put the fish in that will hold it because when you cure it with the salt and sugar mix on top of it you get a lot of li liquid coming out so you want something which is going to contain it and not have it going all over the place so we take one fillet and we lay it neatly inside our container like that make sure my hands are dry So there you can see that's the first fillet which is ready. And then we take our salt and sugar mix, which is already prepared, and then we make a nice, even, generous coating about half an inch of mix all over the top of the fillet like that and we don't need to put it on the second one because the second one is going to go inverted on top of that so once we have that like that we then take our second fillet which hopefully we won't have everything falling off because we've pressed it down and then we smartly take it lay it on top of the other one so it makes a nice sandwich like that and if you wish you can add just a little bit of the mix on the top to help the curing process 
you can see this is a very quick and a very easy process it takes very little time to do it all we have to do now is we cover this and we then put a weight on top of it so that it's somewhat compressed uh, normally if you do a full side of fish you'd leave it for 24 hours take it turn it over put the weights back on top and leave it for another 24 hours and then it will be ready uh, with something like this it will probably need a little bit less time so probably about 18 hours will be fine but all we need to do is now take it put a little bit of foil over the top really just to protect the fish and we can then put a weight on in order to press it a little bit so once we have it like that and what I would normally use then is something like a litre juice container which I'll just get now so all we need to do is take a little bit of weight not too much that's about a kilo so we lay that neatly on top and then we take that and we put it in the fridge and then after 18 to 24 hours we then turn it over so uh, to finish it off and then I will show you how we actually treat it after that so there that's ready to go into the fridge <laughs>